Tras vitie tvarishi debushki. Welcome back to Metro Last Light. Our good buddy Pavel turned out to be not such a good buddy. He hooked us up with General Korbut and that other guy Moskvin. I don't remember. Or was Moskvin the general and the other guy Korbut? In any case, Korbut and Moskvin are the two big red bad guys. And now they are after... Well, it sounded like they were after the dark one and stuff too. Fortunately, the this kid here was like, No, this sucks. This red stuff. So I'm gonna let you go, cause... No. Who that you? I think you need to show show my dad a lesson and stuff. So now we're escaping. Hooray. I forgot to check. Do I have all my equipment or did I lose it all again? Oh my. Ooh. How am I? That was a very weird. Uh oh. Я все-таки глава разведки. Глава, а информацию упустил. Проклятые беженцы. И полюс, и ганза, и даже нацисты чертовы уже все знают. Крыс мы переловим, а война все равно неизбежна. Неизбежна? Знаешь, я и политбюро сомневаемся. Сомнения – признак страха. Да как ты смеешь? Ты председатель госбезопасности и подчиняешься мне! Да, да. Но когда мы в шаге от окончательной победы революции, вы не имеете права нарушать план. Я не имею права! Я... Вы ведь всегда прислушивались к моим советам. Как, например, быть с вашим братом и после его... Well, 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 it looks like these two don't exactly see eye to eye. Everything either. It looks like Moskvin's got a few skeletons in his closet as well. У меня есть способ сделать все бескровно. Ну, хорошо. Ooh, I do not like хорошо. the sound of that. Действуй. Политбюро я беру на себя. His tricks on us weren't that great either. Oh god, he's looking right this way. Лобовой удар не имеет шансов. Вот если с поверхности, через сетки, потом катакомбы. Oh shit, is that Lesnitsky? Nah, it's not Lesnitsky. I like how they all have different colored shirts though. They're like a communist Sentai team. Second, В плен вы сдаваться права не имеете. Вопросы есть? Можно ли нарушить радиомолчание после захвата объектов? Только в крайнем случае, только на кодированной частоте. В случае контратаки противника, объекты удерживать или отходить? Удерживать. Активное противодействие не предполагается. Товарищ генерал, вы приказали убрать все знаки отличия, но потом нам выдали флаги. После победы и получения сигнала... Поднимите флаги над захваченными объектами. Еще вопросы есть? Никак нет, товарищ генерал. Ну, удачи, орлы. Служу в красной линии. Oh, damn. Korbut, what is he planning? Because even Moskvin was kind of like, oh, I don't like that guy. Well, that was after the millions of points we had in Вот теперь я нахожусь в настоящих паучьих катакомбах. И генеральный секретарь Москвин до уровня главного паука не дотягивает, явно уступая генералу Корбуту. Знать бы, что он задумал, что доставил ему Лесницкий из Д6, что должно уничтожить врагов революции. Пока сплошные вопросы. Ясно одно. Информация о Черном у Павла. Shit, yeah, let's Теперь not... он моя цель. Let's not get sidelined. I'm... The war's a big deal, and we gotta deal with these reds, but um. 
yeah, the freaking Dark One's number one priority at this moment. I can't let them slip from my fingers. Gotta do something about him. Anyway, after the, like, millions of moral points in the previous area, Bolshoi, there was only one moral point in that tiny area we were just a second ago, which was, of course, listening to Moskvin and Korobut do their villain scheming there for as uh, long as it took them to get their scheming done. Yes. Okay. The next area should have a fair amount of... Fair amount of um, moral points to achieve. Let's see how that goes. Yep. Oh, ooh, ooh, oop, up, Well, it'll have to do. Not my usual style of clothing, but. Oh, actually, I think that was our shit that was just kept here, because this looks just like the gun I bought. <laughs> yeah, they stored our stuff in this room, and now we got it all. Oh. Wow, that's a hell of a lot of stuff right there. Oh, I got a better mask. I would use all those bullets, but apparently I can't. What is this? A flaming pipe bomb. Now, where did you... Switch those. Uh, I had to check the controls real quick. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, no, controls. Huh. Oh, I guess hints are disabled for <laughs> for playing with the... Uh, weapons inventory is a tab, right? There we go. So we got a fair amount of good stuff. We'll hold on to the knives for now. Hopefully it won't come down to me having to use those bombs, because that will blow my cover, but, uh, but, uh... Aha! That looked like something could open. It's a lot harder in this game to tell, because the graphics are a bit better, but these things also blend into the scenery kind of the things you can uh, activate. It's not like Scooby-Doo, where it's very obvious which doors are part of the background and which doors are, are going to be opened, because <laughs> they're colored way more lightly. Is that Moskvin right there? What is going on here? Oh my god, is someone defusing a bomb there? Here, let me uh, get the crick in your back. You might focus better. Yeah. Oh, his face mask didn't protect him from... From uh, <laughs> my little peck to the face there. Okay, then... Ooh, got this one open, nice. This one won't open, okay. You know, I like, now we're, the, we're fighting the Reds, I kind of like it that the game was selling the Nazis early really hard, and they would be the bad guys. Um, yeah, um, this game was selling the Nazis early on as really big bad guys. Uh, cause, and that kind of reminds you of the earlier game where the Nazis featured heavily as enemies because the game needed some enemies, so might as well be the Nazis. Then it does a little... It does a little switcheroo on you and has the Reds be the bad guys. It's pretty cool. There's a little switcheroo there. Okay, that's the first point of this area, is listening to this guy report in. Oh! Hey, who blew out the light in this room? Maybe we'll have to deal with the situation. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not gonna give you a chance, buddy. There we go. Oh, he's got a, some sort of fancy... I think... He's got a shotgun. Oh, no, my chance to get a shotgun. So much for a silenced pistol, but... Uh, Got this silenced gun, so 
know how to do. Uh, ooh, nice, nice. Got to check everything. As if we were Metal Gearing this shit. Uh, ooh, 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 no, we don't need a rat for this mission. Uh, I think I can dare use the light for a bit. It doesn't look like you know, I was going to sneak into this room. Alright, a Kalash. I already got a Kalash here. I mean, this one's a shorter stock one than that one, I guess, but... This one has the reflex sight and the... Reflex... That was pretty sick. Does it begin from the start? singing English, but I can't quite make out. Okay, well, let's leave that to cover up the noises of my evil stuff I'm going to be doing around here. <laughs> okay, so... Anything interesting in here? I mean, okay, just... For your attention, people, because they introduced all these named red guys. The the reds are going to feature heavily in this game. They are going to be the main antagonists. Like I'll, I'll spoil that at this point, because you know, all these red characters we've established, Pavel, Moskvin, Korbut, and Lesnitsky, I guess suppose counts. Revolution. One thing is completely clear. Clear. One thing is completely certain now. The red line is preparing for war. Without making pompous statements or fanning hysteria like the Reich usually does, they are steadily assembling the strongest army in the metro ever. And the very silence accompanying their war preparations seems more sinister to me than all the Fuhrer's speeches. That's true, that's just like them acting all big. Look, we are scary for the Reich guys! Fear us! But the fact that these guys are... being as uh, method methodical as they are is um, a bit alarming, I say. Hmm. Okay then, um, just checking my notes here again, yes. I don't remember this level very well, so... Ooh! Shit, that's a, that's a fancy train they got going there. Сжечь? Товарищ командир, мы же не фашисты какие, людей живьем сжечь. Пулю в затылок, это еще куда не... Но, no, I meant actual Какие Reds. люди, какие пули? Что ты мелешь? Ну, вы же про беженцев? Какие еще беженцы? Oh my god, that's actually, I was making a stupid joke, and that's exactly the joke. Это крыс с хвостами. Развелось тут. В общем, иди выполняй. Бегом. Есть. <laughs> That's pretty funny. No, what, what are you, fucking human monster? I mean regular rats. Are you crazy? Oh no. I figured they'd get upset from me got turning the lights off. Didn't realize we'd get that grim. Okay, he didn't panic after. I thought he was coming to check me. Ooh, what you sharpening there, buddy? Can you mind sharpening my knife? No? Okay then. Well, never mind. Oh jeez, how do we Ooh, oh, it's so fantastic to be able to take out guys while still trying to do like this pacifist run. And trust me, I think the game's still pretty hard, so I don't feel like things are getting any easier with me. Gaming the systems like so. Oh, can't get up there. Can't get up there either, so back to the shadows. Okay. Just stay cool. Stay cool. I'm gonna go this way. Before he turns around. Ну, а раз понятно, пойди определить им двух 
бездельником. Фронт работ. Есть. И себе тоже потом занятия найди. What do we find here? This guy put up this nice way for us to go through. Nice. Don't mind if I do. I'm actually not sure which way we're supposed to go, but uh, I guess I'll give this area a real quick check. На той неделе придавила же одного крана. Не, ему глаз тропой шибануло. Это в том месяце, а это на той неделе. Да, понятно, что они все за безопасность, да за безопасность. Ну а я что? Если все побьются, кому пахать? Эх, да. Починили бы мать угальник этот, что ли? А то что-то боязно. Okay, I think this is one of the moral points following these guys. No? No, it's not. I was mistaken. Alright then. I think, because this is a bit of a more open-ended area we're in now. It might be I might miss a couple of moral points just by not going the right way, but... Uh... No, I think this is it. This is it. Там в том году такое было. Мужики рассказывали, кто-то и наших и фашистов всех подчистую выбил. Смена пришла, а все лежат. Wait, that's not what happened. Вообще никого живого. Летёха разведку послал, те вернулись на той стороне то же самое. Пока собрались наступать, фашисты забегали уже, зашумели. Видно. That's not what happened. And I was at the bridge. I didn't kill anyone there. I ghosted myself through that area like a pro, except for that place where I got super stuck. <laughs> dark Rail Tracer. All right, that's that's my new title. I am the Dark Rail Tracer. И крупный отряд, человек 30, иначе хрен бы они смогли напасть одновременно с обеих сторон. Да как такой отряд прошел бы там незаметно? Хотя предатель там вроде был. Ловили его еще потом. Шпиона какого-то... Может, шпион это все разведал и навел потом. Но все равно, больно сложно получается. And that's the second point. We didn't miss it after all. The things that these guys tell the story about... The crazy crap that happened back in Metro 2033. Apparently, apparently, just like they retcon me, um, me not killing the dark ones into me killing the dark ones. They also retconned me uh, sneaking through that area undetected into me killing everyone. Which is a bit unfortunate. That's not how it went, you guys. Hey, there is one of those. Oh no, guy, is he coming this way? Oh no, he's just stretching to practice some more. Sure, that's fine, dude. You keep practicing. Let's see, what's this new note say? Looks like the Red Line's General Secretary Moskvin does not do much decision making. It seems that he himself is Korbut's hostage. The one eyed general holds him in a deadlock with one hand while using the other to move the pieces on his huge chessboard. The whole metro. But why does the secretary, supposedly capable of laying the general off, or even having him executed, tolerate his insolence and yield to his demands? What gives Corbett strength? Knowledge, perhaps. I just have to catch up with Pavel, and he'll tell me everything. We'll see how he is going to continue singing his songs of equality and brotherhood, of creating a just state for everyone. A traitor. I don't know, I think they're selling a bit too hard that Corbett is the real evil. Um, they could have saved that for a bigger twist later on. I mean, I'm sure you can already infer why. Oh my, he didn't see anything. He flipped too hard. I'm sure you can infer already why uh, Korbut is the real evil and not Moskvin. He mentioned something about his uh, brother, <laughs> the Secretary General's brother. Did I just hit the piano? Whoop. I'm going to have to silence you now. Go. Achoo. 
Uh, here we of course see this is a light we can't put out. We can't just blow on that until it <laughs> goes out. Oops. I keep playing the piano, damn it! I need to want to loot that guy, but I keep <laughs> Bad, that's bad. Someone's gonna come here like who is doing horrible piano play? I will find him and destroy him. Oh you want to Can I blow that out? Come on. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can you can blow it out. For, for a second I was like, oh no, get away, get away, get away, I'm gonna die. But then I was like, even if I survive that, it's gonna alert everyone. So I had to blow the fuse out, which you could do. Whew. Yeah. Talk about a split second decision. Actually, two of both, really. You didn't hear anything, dude. Mm. Also, there's a chance to lose a point in this area. Um... I believe there's a bunch of, like, non-soldier workers. I think there were a couple in the previous area where they were doing all that, um... Uh, moving stuff around. If you kill non-combatants in this area, that will lose you a moral point, interestingly enough. Ah, it makes sense, I suppose. Okay. Let's see. This way? I think this, uh, this area at first seemed very open, but it seems it's as uh, linear as this game tends to be. Not that I'm complaining too much. I'm sure I've made my... I'm sure I've made it clear already in the past how my feelings on linear versus non-linear games. Oh, I can't close that door behind me. That's too bad. Let's just... Oh yeah, rats in the wires and stuff, you know. Yeah. Always doing evil stuff, those rats. Oh, nothing to loot on him, huh? Okay then, never mind. Oh yeah, here you can see guys with cranes and stuff. In fact, I believe we're gonna get another moral point going over to that crane guy, I think. Three dudes. I'm not gonna be able to take them out. Hey, Oh, damn, there's no subtitles once again, but that is supposed to be radioactive materials he's moving around. They're, they're talking about how um, it's a bit risky moving around radioactive materials, like, no shit. <laughs> oh no, he's got a... There we go, third point of the area, perfect. And we didn't even have to stand very long listening to him. Ooh, that was close. He had the lights on. Which I just shut off. <laughs> oh, I think I'm full on loot because I'm not picking up any ammo when I hit the pick up ammo button. Which is fine with me. Through that door, huh? Well, I'm gonna have to take this guy out first. And it is dark here. It sure is, buddy. It sure is. You're just staring like that figure sneaking towards me looks almost like a bad guy, even though I know it is Yevgeny making a silly prank for me. <laughs> and then I pranked him good, all right. Ooh. Perfect. There we go. So here's a bit of a trickier moral point. Apparently we need to not disturb these guys and follow them until they finish their procedure. And look at this level. This looks really good for sneaking about this level, you know. Oh. That was close. I don't know if it's a bad idea to do that, but uh, I figured I'd put him out real quick. That looks like a thingy with stuff in it. Why did that guy have a bomb in his... Uh, as a trap in his uh, locker, by the way? Oh no, did I screw things up by hitting this guy? Oh no. Oh 
Oh, can I load a checkpoint? When's the last checkpoint? Let's see. Oh no, oh no. Oh, we're, we're right here. It's fine. So, maybe we... Okay, so let's take this chill-like. We're just gonna watch and observe and not start punching people for no good reason. Okay, that didn't alert them. That's good. There's still, like, lights all over here. I'm gonna have to go flip those switches in a second. But I think these guys will spot me if I go for those, so I can't do it yet. I was about to say, it's gonna start freaking making up stuff in a second, the way he was going on. <laughs> Okay, so last time, this one took... Come on, guy. Let's move on with the show, yeah? Oh, does it really just take this I just thought when I knocked this guy out that somehow, like, cut off this whole sequence of them doing this check, but apparently you just have to stand here and really wait for this guy forever to, to uh, move on. No? Really, dude? What are you worrying about? Can we maybe move on? Also, look, it's funny. It looks like there's steam coming out of his helmet if you stand just right here. Hold on. I'm so fuming mad! I thought it was funny. Okay, maybe it depends on me moving on instead of waiting for the game. Yeah. Well, let's just do like that. I'm hoping I'm still gonna put this guy out because I don't know. Playing it safe. Okay, this part's the risky part because there is a light there. Oh, I guess it wasn't a light there. Okay, hoopla. It's a bit dark, yeah. But yeah don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about a thing. Okay, so you're supposed to follow this guy who just stands there, and they're supposed to move on with the check, but apparently they're not getting with the program, so we'll just move on ourselves. We'll lose out on another point, but it shouldn't be a big deal, I hope. I lost a few points by now, but... Will this guy notice me? I don't know, I'm gonna... Oh, perfect! I just had to stay cool here, and then he left. I was about to start throwing knives, finally getting lethal again. Just gotta stay off the normal routes. Keep in the spooky parts, yeah? 